Hello, my darlings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to our card of the day message. This is going to be a label, a uh, message labeled for the 23rd because I'm posting it in time for the 23rd where I am. But really, uh, we're just setting the intention that this be a message for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. Happy birthday to all the April 23rd babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever random day you may stumble upon this video. The card that we have coming up is the Three of Cups. Now, um, Three of Cups can come up in a few different ways. It can definitely be some kind of celebration, something that we're celebrating, like doing a good job about something, friends and family coming together to celebrate you or a special occasion. So there could be a sense of accomplishment with this card. Three of Cups can also be community of like-minded people and can be um, sometimes associated with engagement, like getting engaged. So for some of you, maybe you're manifesting an engagement. Maybe you are going to be meeting somebody soon or a relationship, maybe moving forward soon. Uh, could also be, as I said, celebrations, things being celebrated, receiving good news, uh, getting in with soul family, like-minded people. And Three of Cups, I feel, is happening for a lot of people right now in a non-traditional way. Um, every tarot reader has certain cards that have a little extra meaning to them. And you'll encounter that when you deal with different tarot readers. You'll see that they'll, they'll have certain cards that come up with like a little extra message for them over the years. And Three of Cups is one of those cards for me. Uh, in my readings, I see three of cups come up a lot of the times when someone is healing from feminine wounds. Uh, and I always say this and I'll say it again because it bears repeating. We talk a lot about toxic masculinity and toxic masculinity is real. It exists. Trust me. I've been around plenty of it uh, my whole life. So I know it, I know it exists, but we forget that there's such a thing as toxic femininity right? Some of us have had our fair share of both, but we, we forget that there's such a thing as toxic femininity and how it wounds. You know, it, it can be very, very damaging for a developing little tiny human being uh, to not have a reliable feminine energy or a reliable maternal figure. And so uh, whether it's a maternal figure who is not emotionally available or present or has to uh, bear the responsibility of, uh, you know, doing everything uh, by themselves and therefore busy, busy, busy having no time, you know, for their little one or dealing with a, a, a maternal figure who behaves more like a jealous sibling or a bully um, towards their little one rather than a, a nurturing uh, presence. Uh, mean girl energy in school. We all probably have experienced that at one time or another. You know, there could be cattiness and competition and jealousy and name calling and you're not good enough and you're not pretty enough and you're not uh, attractive enough or you're wearing the wrong clothes. And then if you date, you know, feminine uh energy you might have encountered uh you know feminine energy that has told you you're not making enough money or you're not giving me enough or you're not you know or like doing th things to like uh emasculate or demean in some way or just disrespect or put down and with the wounds that we get when we are dealing with toxic feminine energy it makes it very difficult to receive it makes it very difficult to feel worthy and it can be very damaging. And so I feel like a lot of people right now collectively, like in, in the collective energy, are beginning to release and heal uh, feminine wounds. And this can be a very difficult release. And so things could be happening here uh, that you're beginning to call in or beginning to manifest very healing, very soothing, very supportive feminine energy into your life, right? Um, if you are someone that has been around that kind of 
toxic feminine energy and you are a feminine person, you may have begun to see, oh my gosh, I sound like that person that made my life a hell or oh my goodness, like I'm doing what was done to me, you know, when I was younger and you might be catching yourself and you may be saying, this is going to end with me. I'm not going to continue this. I'm not going to continue this with my romantic relationship, with my children, with my life. I'm not going to be that that toxic feminine. And so there could be things within ourselves as feminines that we're releasing and we're healing. And we may be calling, nurturing, healing feminine energy into our life, high vibrational energy, um, you know, people who can celebrate and support and encourage and uh, you know, not be overly critical or cold or overly demanding. And so there could be a healing here in this way uh, with the Three of Cups. Um, and this is coming in intuitively. It's not going to be for all of you. But I feel something may be happening here uh, in the next 24 hours where you're receiving news of some kind of an event or something is happening and you're wanting to prepare a, 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 an event for it. Um, so I don't know. It, it could be somebody maybe is announcing uh, that they're pregnant. Maybe somebody's getting engaged. Maybe somebody is uh, going to be graduating from something here in a few months or uh, going to be getting test results from like a bar exam or a nursing exam or something. There could be something where there's going to be some kind of a celebration. And I feel some of you are going to feel a little panicked about it because the first thing your mind is going to is taking pictures. <laughs> like that's the first time. Oh my gosh, they're going to be taking pictures. Like, what am I going to wear? What am I going to look like? And oh gosh, I got to hit the gym. I got to do this. I got to do that. And connecting here with the feminine energy, it, if you feel like you don't want to uh, sabotage yourself in the process or you feel like you want to feel good on that day, regardless of whatever changes you might make externally, pay attention to like any voice in your head that may have come from that toxic feminine energy, that mean girl energy. Maybe you had mean siblings, mean cousins. Maybe your mom was real critical and so you're constantly judging yourself and then because you're constantly judging yourself, even if you're making changes, they're never going to be good enough because they were never good enough for the feminine that, you know, criticized you or demanded you or bullied you. So that has to be something that you have to address as well as anything else you're doing that you're changing, you know. Like maybe you're thinking, oh, I want to, you know, look really healthy. And I so I'm going to do all these things to like improve my physical appearance. That's great. That's wonderful. But if that voice is in your head saying, uh, you know, this isn't good and that's not good and this isn't right and that isn't right. And, oh, this other person's prettier than you or more handsome than you or, you know, oh, my gosh, you're this, you're that. Or they pick out things that you can't change. They're talking about your height or talking about your your body frame. Those, those are things we can't generally typically change, you know. And then we just get discouraged and we give up. And then we don't want to go to things. We don't want to go to events. We don't want people to take pictures of us. So it's it starts in the head. It starts in the head. And some of you or some of us, I should say, I'm not just, you know, trying to like, you know, point fingers. But some of us need to. Look at that. Look at what the feminine has put into our head and heal that. And luckily, with this three of cups here is I feel like there is support coming in, supportive energy from the feminine, which may be exactly what we need to turn it around, right? So supportive feminine energy, high vibrational feminine energy. Some of you may be uh, uh, in a relationship now that's going to progress, or you may be meeting a person here in the near future who you may be in a relationship with and you may find that you're going to be uh, accepted or included by their friends or their family. And there could be very supportive feminine energy in that dynamic that really like helps you to, uh, you know, let down that wall, open up, receive, receive friendship, receive love. But very, very positive energy here. You may want to check out um, the other videos that are linked in the description. 
Private readings are still closed. They will remain closed for a little while. I will let you all know um, when that calendar opens up again. And uh, hopefully you all can come back and check out tomorrow's card of the day. I hope you all have a fabulous, wonderful day. I hope you have a good time celebrating special occasions, accomplishments, good news. And I hope that those of us who are healing the feminine wound on top of all of that uh, can uh, be gentle with ourselves and loving towards ourselves. So I hope you all have a fabulous day. Take care and be well. Bye.